Well, Austin, welcome to Zero Footprint. Uh, uh, nice to see you again. Thanks, Ron. Uh, good to be here. So, uh, we're talking about uh, Zero Footprint and Dark Green PC. Tell me a bit about Zero Footprint. Well, Zero Footprint is really uh, an organization on the web that's targeting people across the planet uh, around reducing their footprint. So we are building initiatives and infrastructure, making a massive change by linking people across the planet on goals that will reduce their footprint. So the, uh, you came to me a little while ago with a fascinating idea about how to get people involved with protecting the footprint or of their PCs. Maybe yeah. if you could talk a little bit about dark green PC. Well, it, it's astounding when you start to look at small things and how they add up, uh, what a difference things can make. So for example, one of the things that really blew me away was when we started counting what would happen to the world if everybody switched off their screensaver. <laughs> Turns out that a screensaver on a typical new PC is about a light bulb. So you can picture 600 million computers out there and imagine them all being light bulbs that suddenly is a lot of light. <laughs> and if you were to turn that off, it turns out that, that, that the equivalent of turning half of those PCs off, so they went to black every time they went to screen saving, you would find that you could take a couple of hundred coal-fired generating plants off the planet. So, I mean, Ron makes a good point. The power of this is huge, and it's the power of large numbers. And the internet has shown us that. And if anything, I think it's something that the open source community can also appreciate. Um, with enough eyes on this problem, we think that there can be a huge change in how we consume power for the PC industry. And uh, if we reach our goal of 100 million people saving power collectively as a social activity, it is the equivalent of planting 13 million trees. It's the equivalent of taking eight million cars off the road. It's the equivalent of planting 13 million acres of forest. So this is quite massive. It's really, uh, it's, ex it's significant. And imagine being part of a community that took enough electricity off the grid to light 50 million homes. So one of the things that excited me was the idea of making energy saving social, make it part of our social networks, put tools in the hands of people that would allow them to join up with their friends and save energy together. And that's what this project is about. Dark Green PC is going to give people the tools, widgets, uh, blog tools that they need to be able to show the world. This is how much energy my friends and I are saving. And collectively, as Ron mentioned, we can actually save enough energy together to be able to really change the way the planet uh, goes. You could imagine how you could bring to bear the power of, of individual programmers and technologists in reducing the consumption of PCs. So forgetting about screensavers, think of what a PC consumes. So with 600 million PCs, you're talking about um, something like 60 million megawatt hours. 60 million megawatt hours is enough to power all of Switzerland for a year. A, a laptop with the same p computing power as a desktop has about one-third the power draw of a desktop. And, you, and you'd say, well, is there any good reason for this? The only reason that occurs is because electricity is invisible to us. We plug a, a, lap, a desktop in the wall, we never see what it uses. But when we use a laptop, we're sitting on a plane, and if that thing flakes out, we're in trouble. So we've taken care about power for laptops. So if you took that exact same technology and you made every laptop, sorry, every desktop as efficient as a laptop, lo and behold, you save two thirds of all the power of all the PCs in the world. So dark green PC is really about making the saving of energy, energy a social activity. Uh, we think we can get a large number of people involved in saving energy collectively. And so, the best opportunity was around computers and getting everyone involved in just turning off their computers at the same time and being able to report that in. We now have a funded project. It will be a non-profit, community-driven project called Dark Green PC. Zero Footprint will be hosting and uh, sponsoring it. Um, but we will be involving all the members of the community and we want to build an open source platform for social saving of energy. So we'll have, uh, and we'll be working to make sure that we get distribution and we get the proper partners, but we are looking for that project manager lead, someone who can, has experience with open source projects. 
Yeah, and then someone with a passion for saving the environment. Absolutely. Uh, someone with a, uh, a sense of what it's like to be in an exciting startup that could grow massively in a very short space of time. Uh, with some of the best venture capitalists breathing down his back, <laughs> uh, his or her back. Uh, so this is this is a phenomenal opportunity to be part of a groundbreaking initiative and to be there right at the beginning. So this is a great chance for someone who cares about open source to get involved in saving the world, uh, which I think is a noble goal. Uh, we are going to make the saving of energy a social activity. And we want to see that appear in people's blogs and their widgets on Facebook, where I can invite my friends to save power with me by running small little utilities that optimize my PC and report those savings into my social networks, into my friends. So if you have experience leading an open source project, if you're passionate about the issues of global warming and getting involved in helping people do something about it, then please contact us because we now have the project, we have the team, uh, and what we're looking for is the right person to lead those resources so that we can actually start to change how the PC industry uh, thinks about and actually impacts and affects the rest of the world.